All right, folks, we are at Harrison Bay State Park, Tennessee. This is a big state park, full service, full uh, facilities and everything. Oops. Um, it has a little interpretive center right here. It's closed today, but uh, has has a nice red-shouldered hawk and a turkey vulture. Boy, they're ugly, aren't they? And it has some other things around the side. I don't know what's in there. <laughs> and it's raining, so I'm not getting out. <laughs> I'm sorry. It has a restaurant, marina, boat ramp, fishing park office, and then there's camping, swimming, picnic, and rec hall. So we're going to go check those out. And we're really just here for the camping, except it's pouring rain, as you might tell by the windshield wipers. And um, we're not sure we're going to stay because we're kind of on a funky site. It's not really that much fun to camp with a wet dog in an A-liner. <laughs> Although it's better than a tent, I'll tell you right now. <laughs> Hang on, let's go check out the camping. They have a rec hall, swimming, picnicking, tennis, and of course picnic shelters. So let's go see what the swimming area looks like. The swimming area is actually a pool. They have a regular pool and a kiddie pool. Or maybe that's an adult pool. <laughs> Keep the kids on the other one. But that's the swimming, so it's, uh, you know, chlorinated, treated, healthy water. That's pretty nice. And I don't know what this is over here. Is this a bathhouse or is that a... Oh, maybe that's the, maybe that's the, the lifeguard shack. All right. Over here, side of the pool, is a great big rec hall. And uh, again, we're not gonna go check it out because it's raining and it's probably not open anyways. But I'm told that this campground today, it's uh, the beginning of like winter break. It's October 1st or some holiday that they're booked solid. So kind of a map of the campground and the camping setups. They have four asphalt tennis courts, which I suppose is nice if you play tennis. I played tennis once. I didn't realize you had to hit the ball back, I guess. <laughs> this is Camping area B, I believe. And it is mostly big rig RVs out in the open. The one right here in the middle is six. And the roads in these campgrounds go all over the place. They're not real normal, but this one right in front of us there's 9, 10, and 11 right there. And they're, they're as close as like a parking lot. And this is 8, which isn't in use. And 7, which looks like it might be the host. Or somebody is there forever. Here's another one over here. Nice dumpster. This is 15. We've got two cars, two boats, big old thing. These people look like they're here for the month. A great big tent like that. Here's another. This goes all around here. This is 18 here. 
18. Boy, it's close. That's 19. 20 on the other side. These are the shower houses and bathrooms. And there are more way down there. You can see me. More. Those are premium sites, I imagine, on the lake. Better not have a long leash on your dog. Look at how close those are. Maybe they're friends. But these are the bathhouses, and as you can see, they're individual restrooms, handicapped, and it's kind of like a cell, like a prison cell. You've got a stainless steel toilet, so there's no problem cleaning it. And uh, you have your own shower and everything in there. There's plenty of room. They're real nice and big. We'll stop and, and look at at least one of them. Now here's a site that's all by itself on this circle. What number is that? That's 24. That's kind of a nice site. You can give a little room around you. Then there's 25, 26, and 27. Just, they're here forever. And then this is going up the hill. Woo! This is fun. You know, you have an RV though, you just get used to it. I think I'm going the wrong way because the numbers are going the wrong way, which is too bad, but anyways. All right, that was A. This is camping area B. All right, so let's go into that. They, they have a motel that looks like, which is pretty interesting. Or is that bathrooms? It has handicapped parking. I imagine that might be bathrooms. Those are campsites one, two, and three, right there. One, two, and three. Along there, and then there's probably four. There's ten sites in that little circle. That's just bizarre. That's that's cramped. There's somebody with a schoolie. These have some, these are some pull-through pull sites. I guess these are all pull-through sites. Whether they're on the side or in the middle, they all seem to be pull-through and it's pretty much a parking lot. And there is nothing that's level. That is 29 and that is a really nice site. And that is 30, I believe. Either 30 or 31. You have to look on the map. That's a really nice sight. But these are all... Ugh. Don't need to know much more about B, except it's pretty much an old styled RV resort parking lot. You know, pull through on the side. Look at the lean on these things. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if they don't try to level them or it's just like impossible anyway. Now let's go to Campground C, which is actually where I am, and we'll show you that. And again, the biggest issue I find is level, leveling. Um, this, like this campsite right here, is on top of a hill, and actually that's a pretty level site, and it looks like that might be the host. These are all full hookups. That's number two. And this is number three right across from him. Here's five, six, and seven right on the hill here. They're actually fairly level. Those don't look too bad. Five, six, and seven look... Now, 13's a really nice sight. Though nobody's here, that was taken. That's a nice big sight. That is 13. And it's got room on either side. There's nobody on either side until you get way over there. You can see that neighbor over there. And I don't know what this space is next to them. Maybe that's like, but then you got all that space between that one, 13. 
and then this is 15. And across, hello puppy. And that's 16 right next to him. Seventeen's got a little more space. That's seventeen there. And I don't know what this is side of eighteen and seventeen, but there's eighteen. Twenty-four right along the, the bank here. Twenty-five four twenty-five. That's twenty-five. This is twenty-six. Now we got 27. It's around the circle on the end. And in the middle of the circle is 22. This is 22, obviously a pull through site. <laughs> She's just sitting in the middle of a circle though. Now this is 31 and 32, which they're they're in the same. They're in the same parking area. I mean, it's like, it's like a double site, really. And this is 34, where I am. And the look, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta appreciate the level. I couldn't get the front end level, so that's teetering on bl blocks. It's a board, a block, and a four by four. So, and then the wheels are. Uh, on a couple of blocks and actually it's on top of a uh, chalk or a, yeah wheel chuck <laughs> and it, I mean look at the space between the, the 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 step and the stool it's a little big that's all I can a little little unlevel although I don't have to worry about water <laughs> I'm not gonna have a puddle at my door that's for sure it's kind of like this guy over here has a parking spot for his car 35 it's right here 36 is this little pop-up has a really nice setup he's got a little fence and everything and he's got out his uh, easy up with chairs and everything I think this is 38 this is 37 which again it's a campsite with a parking area next to it so some of these are pretty interesting. It's just, I don't know how they set these up originally. This is 39. That's a pretty big, nice site, really. And this is the camp post across from 39. I don't know if he's got a number on his site. It would be 40, I guess. Now, until this point, all, this, all the sites that I've showed you, A, B, and C, are full hookup they have electricity and water and, and uh, I don't know if they have sewer I don't think mine has sewer but maybe um, but anyways um, this is primitive these are just tent sites supposedly but there's plenty of room for an a-liner I really should have moved over to here because um, there's lots of room between the sites there in uh, that was two. This is four. On the other side is five. And right next to four is six, which is really, I don't know why they're so close. But there's forest behind it and it'd be good for Kila. This is five over there. And then seven. It's nice. It's a fairly deep site. It's probably 30 feet. And then 28 is this one, and it's like a, really a postage stamp. This is eight, and this is nine, right there. And then next to it is 10, 11, and 12 is a postage stamp. <laughs> 12 is this little bitty postage stamp along the river and it's got trees falling all around it. I don't think I'd take that. 
And then 13 and 14 are postage stamps. We've got enough room for the picnic table and a pup tent. And here's 14. Same thing. And 24, which is a really big site. I mean, you've got a lot of room because it goes up over and up into the forest. I'll show you where this goes. It goes way up there. And there's the fireplace and the picnic table way up at top. So that's a lot of room. Now, outside of the bathrooms, in every campground loop, they have one of these poles which has a router on top of it. And so they have incredibly good Wi-Fi. I don't know the speed of it. I could not, <laughs> could not get their own reservation system, but you know, if you've got a, a site nearby, I imagine you've got pretty good Wi-Fi connection. All right, here's the bathhouse. One of them anyways, I think they're all the same because they're all they're all unisex handicap and you know you have a stainless steel toilet and a shower and it's all in this nice room with a big echo of garbage that they take out um, they don't have any paper towels or anything they have a hook for your for your washcloth and a soap dish and I guess they have this is for high and low. They have a crummy little head up there. You turn it on, but I'm afraid I'd get soaked. They have rails to put stuff on. They have a seat and a bench to put your leg up on. And they have hooks over here, so pretty well equipped. Pretty nice. Let's go up and look at these sites up here. These sites. 24, 5, 6. These are like incredibly big sites. And of course, because there's no hookups, nobody's using them. Now, they're also in the shade, so they're not very good for solar. But if you have conservative batteries, oh my goodness, this is like a in the woods boondocking site. This is just awesome. Look at the size of this site. And that's true about all of these. You can look down the row here, and there are the picnic tables for the other ones. And they're all, you know, they just go all the way back, so it'd be a lot of fun to camp here with the dog. So folks, that is your 10-minute tour of the Harrison Bay campgrounds in Tennessee. It's actually, uh, you know, with the perfect bathrooms and uh, they're nice and clean and the Wi-Fi and electrification, um, just awesome. They are not, uh, most of them are not full hookups. Uh, the ones I saw were just water and electric, but um, still, that's a pretty good price, especially if you're over 65 or whatever the, the rate is that, uh, for senior citizens but um, we are not gonna stay because uh, we're just too close to home and we don't have anything else to do here <laughs> except do the tour of the campground <laughs> so thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't leave me a comment on <laughs> do you like this kind of a quick uh, tour video I mean I tried to do every site um, or do you prefer a more walk around with uh, Akilah telling you which trees he likes the best? But uh, we'll be back. So see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.